Hey guys, it's Jason with Outdoor Adventures and thanks for joining me. You know, recently I uploaded a video of the uh, four day Laurel Highlands through hike. It was such an amazing trip. I, I even got to try out some new gear, namely the uh, Whoopi Sling suspension with a pair of Dutchwear spiders. You may have seen that video. If you haven't, you can check that video out right over here. I have since converted back to cinch buckles and the only reason for that is I'm a very, very picky person, especially when it comes to my campsites. You know, I make sure I look up, I make sure that there are no dead limbs above me, that, you know, dead trees aren't going to fall on me in the middle of the night. You know, a lot of people have been hurt or even killed. And it's just my preference to have, you know, a longer strap system. So I am back to the cinch buckle system. This whoopee sling and spiders worked fine. However, there were just some places that I couldn't hang that I really, really wanted to. Recently, DutchWearGear.com has released a new type of webbing material. Um, if you don't know what webbing is, this is the one inch webbing that wraps around the tree and then you set your cinch buckle to kind of clip on here. Now, this new material is called Dyneema. I don't know if it's, I mean, I'm sure it's been out for a while now, but Dutch has played around with it enough that he's making tree straps out of it. So I thought I'd order it and check it out and see what it's all about. Um, I've had this on my hammock for a couple weeks now, but I wanted to show you my first impressions of it. Um, kind of save you some trouble, some research time, and may, possibly even some money here. Hold on, I'll be right back. The ice cream man's here. Mm-mm. Okay, so like I was saying, the, um, this new Dyneema material is supposed to be lighter than your standard one inch webbing. It's the same one inch width for anyone concerned about that, but it's also supposed to not absorb as much water as the nylon webbing. So I'm gonna take a little, I'm gonna show you that. We're gonna soak it in some water. We're gonna weigh them before and after, and we're gonna see what this stuff is all about. So here is the webbing material. You can see it has this little, I guess it's a cool little nifty pattern. It is also supposed to be very low stretch, uh, like normal webbing. So, I mean, there's not much I can show you with this. I mean, here it is attached to the cinch buckle. It's holding absolutely fine. There's no slippage whatsoever. So here is the, the webbing. Here is the cinch buckle. It's holding absolutely fine. You can still adjust it up and down. It's pretty good. Um, it feels a little more flimsy than your standard webbing, uh, like more bendy, I want to say. It's hard to explain. Um, but let me take this off, this cinch buckle, and then we will put it in some water because I'm sure that's what most people are concerned about here. This is what we're comparing the two to. I mean, you can see it's the same exact size. It's the one inch webbing. Uh, it's white and black versus just black. Hopefully maybe you guys can see that, but let me weigh this dry. These are both 12 foot So it'll kind of give you an idea of what each one weighs and then we're gonna throw it in some water and then weigh it again To kind of simulate, you know it being out in the rain all night Okay, first the normal standard webbing It is 2.5 ounces dry and now for the Dyneema webbing so it's two ounces. So this will basically save you a full ounce when it's dry off your webbing suspension for a 12 foot. Now let's put both of these in water and then we'll weigh them again. Okay, remember we said 2.5 ounces for this one. Okay, now you can see we are up to 3.3 .3 ounces on this one. Three point eight ounces on the Dyneema. So this is supposed to be less water absorbent. It says so right on Dutchware's site. And I'm not knocking what he's saying about this. Perhaps the rain runs off it more easily. So let's do this. I'm going to take the end of this and just swing it around a couple times and try to get as much water off of this as I can and then we're gonna weigh it one more time and see what's up with this. Okay, let's weigh this one more time here. 
So three ounces, 3.05 ounces after basically I've wrung the water out of this. Okay, and then after wringing the water out of this one, we're at 3.15 ounces. Okay, so we are looking at, I say, just about the same water absorption between these two products here. This one does cost a little bit more than this. Like I said, they're both 12 feet. So, did I get ripped off? No, not really. You know, Dutchware Gear makes incredibly awesome products. I just think that he needs to take out the little tidbit about these not absorbing as much water as this because the tests shown here pretty much proved that both of these materials soak up just the same amount of water. Whether this dries faster than this, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to, you know, figure that out as I'm using this. The first trip that I'm actually using this on will be the West Rim Trail, the PA Grand Canyon. So I will see about this uh, this weekend, actually. Um, but I did want to make this video. I did want to show these two materials off in case anybody was looking at this this uh, Dyneema product to replace this. I I'd say just first impressions of these. I'd say you're only going to want to purchase this if you need to replace this. There's no real point, right now at least, of me actually switching over to this one. I will only switch over because I actually have this product already, but I'd say if you're replacing an existing black nylon strap system for cinch buckles or, you know, tree huggers for whoopee slings, whatever, that then you might want to consider this. I wouldn't replace this just to save a half an ounce per, you know, 12 foot of this material. Lastly, I'm not, sh like I said, I haven't used this product before yet, so this may end up being more durable than this. Um, from what I can remember, they have similar strength, but this might be more durable, so we will see. Um, I am going to switch over just because, like I said, it, it is a full ounce for me, which may not be a big deal, but if it's more durable and allows me to not have to replace my tree straps, you know, why not? I will take the plunge, I will try this out for you guys, that's part of my job at this hobby, and filming this stuff for YouTube for you guys, that hopefully I can help some people along the way make some uh, smart buying decisions. So guys, thanks for watching, and I will let you know how this goes here.